I've got a pretty cool mentalism card trick. I'm just going to start by shuffling up the deck and giving it a couple cuts. And I'm going to put the deck into the card box. Alright, next I'm going to make a prediction. I just got a blank piece of paper and let's see my prediction. Okay, I have made my prediction. Hold it up so no one can see it. And I'll leave that right here. So I've got my prediction made. I'm going to take the cards out. And I will give it a cut. And I'm going to take the bottom cards. Oh, I'll get rid of those. And now for... um. For these cards, I'm just going to lay them out into three piles. So, the piles are made, and the top cards are the Queen of Hearts, Seven of Spades, and the Two of Hearts. Now, for my prediction, I predicted that the cards will be a Queen of Hearts, Seven of Spades, and Two of Hearts, as you can see, and I was right. So, that was magic. So, here's how to do the trick. You're going to need a deck of cards with the box, a pen, and a piece of paper. Uh, so, start off with the box, and the pen, and the piece of paper off to the side and just have the deck. You want to take three cards, one, uh, actually I'll use the ones that I was using before, one, two, three. You want to take three cards, so I'm using the two hearts, seven, alright, so you see, uh, these are the three cards I'm using, and I'm going to memorize them. It's very important that I memorize them, or else, if you don't memorize them, you're going to look like an idiot in the middle of the card trick because you can't remember. So, again, remember those three cards. You take whatever three cards you picked, and you're going to put them into the deck, into the card box, just like that, and leave the card box so it's visible, but the cards inside are not. You're going to start, you're going to take the cards, you're going to cut them, you're going to shuffle them, you're going to give it to the spectator, let them do all, kinda, all kinds of crazy cuts, just get all the cards really mixed up, so uh, no questions are asked about, like, uh, you stack the deck in a particular order later. So you've got all the cards here, and after it's all been shuffled, you're going to take it, and without the spectator seeing the inside, you're just going to slide them in, seal it up, and put them... Uh, it's very important to have everything like in view for this trick. So uh, the spectator doesn't think you're doing anything behind your back or under a table or anything like that. Now you're going to tell them that you're going to make a prediction, but you're not going to tell them that you're going to put three predictions. So you're just going to tell them, I'm going to make a prediction. You're going to cover the paper and write. So I've got the queen, I've got a seven, I've got a two of hearts, spades, and hearts again. And I'm just going to color them in real quick. Okay, so I've got my prediction made. Fold that up so they don't see it, and again, keep it in view the whole time. So, after I've made my prediction, I'm going to take the cards back out with the other three. So the bottom cards are the uh, three that I had originally. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the cards. So I'll put this on the bottom and leave that on top. Now right here are my three cards. So leave them like that, crossed. I'm going to distract the spectator for a little bit so they don't uh, realize that the card's right here. So just uh, take their mind off this for a second. After you've finished that, you're going to say that you're going to put the other cards 
just off to the side. And then you're going to take these and count them off into three piles. And it doesn't really matter uh, what order you do this in, as long as the last three cards are in all er, in uh, three different piles. So you have them in three different piles, and the top cards will be the uh, three cards that you had predicted and had put in the box from the start. So you show them the prediction and Queen of Hearts. All right, so all that and. Uh, I'm not going to lie, they get pretty excited because they have no idea how you just did that. And it's an awesome effect. So if you have any questions, just comment and I'll be happy to answer. So thanks for watching.